Is this the world's best food? Let's find out. So a few years ago, CNN came out with a list of the top 50 best foods in the whole world. And they were actually bold enough to rank this list all the way from 50 to one in order. And I looked at some of my favorite foods, burgers, my number two favorite food, took the number six spot. Pizza, my number one favorite food, took the number two spot. So there might be some merit in this article, but the number one food I had never heard of until a couple of days ago, and I have it right here. This is Masaman curry. It's a Thai food. And this is what CNN says about it. Emphatically, the king of curries and perhaps the king of all foods, spicy, coconutty, sweet, and savory. Even the packet sauce you buy from the supermarket can make the most delinquent of cooks look like a Michelin potential. Thankfully, someone invented rice with which diners can mop up the last drizzle of, drizzle of curry sauce. The land of smiles isn't just a marketing catch line. It's a result of being born in a land where the most world's most delicious food is sold on nearly every street corner. Now, I didn't pick this up from any random street corner, though. I actually asked my grab driver the other night for a recommendation for some good ass food. And he pointed me to this place called Ruin Malika. So I ordered directly from this spot and they have two types of masaman curry. They have a chicken version and a beef version. Not really sure which one is which here, but as you can see, they have a very interesting way of packaging this curry for delivery. It's a little bit fiddly here. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, it's hot. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Ah, it's so hot. God dang. So it looks like we have the beef over here and the chicken over here. I also got two orders of rice just in case. I'll probably only be needing one. And I didn't know about this. This was included with the curry. Looks like bread, kind of toasted white bread, two pieces per curry. So we're going to be messing with that too. So I'm going to put one order of the rice and one order of the bread over to the side for now. And let me just give you a quick close up of what I'm looking at. For one, we need some smell of vision in my right. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, man, for real though, I'm dead serious. Like this is smelling insane, but the visuals are equally insane. It looks thick. It looks like there's a lot of meat. It looks savory. It looks spicy. It looks... It, it looks like everything. Huge pieces of chicken in here and other things. I'm, maybe a potato? I'm not really sure. And big pieces of beef as well. The curry has an awesome consistency to it. Not too thin, not too thick. I've had all kinds of curries from all around the world. And let me tell you what, this is some of the best looking curry right off the bat that I've ever seen. Let's just get a scoop. Holy jamoli. It's five o'clock. Haven't eaten anything all damn day, which might be adding a little bit. Can't lie. Oh, this chicken is so tender and juicy. The flavors. Immaculate. There's like big chunks of potato. It's a hearty curry. It's almost like a stew, which I am a huge fan of. Sometimes you get curries that are, well, for my personal taste buds, a little bit too thin, um, not enough substance, not enough meat or potatoes or anything in, in it, you know? Ah. 
I could just eat this like without the rice. Let me see if I can uh, do one of these. Everyone has their own methods of eating curry. Usually I like to do a little half and half like this. Some people like to mix it all together. I'm not really sure the right way to eat this one, but I don't think there is a right way. As long as you're eating it. A little hint of coconut. There is peanuts in here, but they have boiled down to a point that they're not too crunchy and not too soft either. Adding just the perfect amount of texture and flavor. This gets a mighty fine right off the bat. And shout out to that driver for recommending the spot. Oh, it's on point. There are no spice levels I could choose from here, which I'll be honest, one thing that I would have liked to have seen is just a little bit of spice option. I'm talking like maybe just a little bit more spicy. I'm getting like a one out of 10 on this. You can see, you can feel that there's a little spice in there. I mean, spicy spice, but um, yeah, my, my mouth has uh, has no burn to it. So this food, it's not discriminating against anyone. Look at this piece of chicken. I think there's actually a bone in this. It's just shredding. Hard to do one-handed, but you, you get the gist. Come on now. Come on. This is probably the 10th curry I've had over here. Um, I'm sticking to less of the red curries because purposely I didn't want to have anything that even remotely resembled this. So I've been eating a lot of like yellow curries, green curry, you know what I mean? I love me some curry. This is my favorite so far. Let me actually see what this bread is all about. If I'm doing something that's real weird, I apologize, but what else is this bread for? I mean, oh, look at that scoop. This is one of those foods that is so complex, but it's done in such a, the right way that you don't even notice the complexity. Sometimes the food is very complex and it's too complex. So you get, you get thinking about it, like, what's this? What's that? And then you're not even enjoying the food. You're just trying to break it down. This is one where it's very complex, but how many times do I just say complex? It's one of those that you don't have to think about it. You just max it and enjoy it. But if you want to, maybe you could think about it. Try to discover every single flavor. And this is so good. I, no joke. 
I even forgot about this one. I was going to like kind of compare them back to back, but I just started going to town on this one and I can't stop. So maybe I'm not giving this a fair, a fair shake, but is it just me or does this one look a little bit redder? Hopefully the beef is a little bit spicier. Come on. If you like curry, you would like this 100%. Hands down. If you like food, you'll like this. Let me try a piece of this beef. I believe this is going to be super tender as well. Not completely falling apart. I mean, if it completely disintegrated, then what are we even doing here? But that plastic fork sticks in perfectly. Huge chunks of meat in here. Oh, I'm, I'm loving it. Mighty fine as well. Hmm. By the way, I was asking the driver who recommended this spot. And he was telling me that the, the chef who works here or owns the owner, I'm not really sure, a little bit of a loss in translation, but he was saying that there was a master chef at this restaurant. So I can, I can see. Meat and potatoes and a thick curry stew. It's creamy, it's savory. Once again, the balance. It's the balance of flavors. This one, I feel like I wanna go out on a limb and say, it might be like one level spicier than this one, but that might just be because just the buildup, <clears throat> the slow buildup. But it's still really not that spicy. By the way, though, paid a pretty penny for this food. 32 bones. So, let's see, that 15, my last video, $15 worth of KFC, a lot of food. I mean, this is obviously better than KFC. That big Thai spread I got was like, what, 37? So, this is almost, this is up there. Maybe this is more of a fancier restaurant, but... I gotta take some of this bread with some of this meat. I gotta make a sandwich. I gotta, I gotta do it. Meat, just meat. Doesn't look pretty. But it sure does eat. I'm going to tell you what. Oh, well, now, I guess the real question is, is this the world's best food? I'm 
out on a limb and say no. Um, I mean, it's subjective. I know these lists are all it's completely subjective. Maybe you don't like curry at all, so you obviously wouldn't like this. I've had, like I said, a lot of curries in my day. And this is just right at the top of all of the curries I've had uh, ever. There's one food that I don't think is really considered a curry. When I was in Indonesia, uh, I had rendang. And that, I think they call that more of a stew, perhaps. But that was really fire, too. Um, but again, it's not like curry. I mean, if I'm comparing this to some of my classics, like pizza, like burgers. Can I put the, the, this? Can I put this over those things? No. Hell no. But definitely a must try if you ever come here or if you can ever just find it. I feel like um, this CNN article, I think there was a lot of controversy over it because I don't know who came up with it. If it was a team of people. So they did like a, a re-poll and they actually did a, an audience poll and got like thousands of votes. And in that poll, top 50 foods, this was not number one. It was still number 10, though. So still really high up there. I guess I got uh, too much rice, so I have some remaining. Like, sometimes curry, you need the rice. Sometimes, like, I would just max this with a, I'll max this with a spoon. Very good use of spice here. Very good use of, of ingredients. Um, does it deserve to be number one? I think pizza should be number one. First of all, pizza is worldwide. To have this being the number one when, well, maybe I'm just a noob, but I've never even heard of it. I think to be number one, you got to be accessible around the world, you know, and pizza is everywhere. Um, whether it's good pizza, bad pizza, American pizza chains, or... You know, Korean style pizza. It's crazy sushi pizza that I had the other day over here. All types of pizza. I, I think pizza's got to be number one. Let's see here, though. Could I even attempt to rank this on an overall food scale, a personal one? I don't even know if I could attempt it. That's the thing. I got to see some numbers. I got to see some stats on it or else it's just completely subjective. Another thing is I've only had it at one place. I mean, I think this place is good. It's got good reviews, but maybe, you know, different places do it, serve it up in different ways. <clears throat> you can't really judge it off just eating at one time. All I can just say is it's mighty fine. I would want to just soak up all the rest of this, but I want Ring Lady to actually try this too, because she hasn't had it either. She's never heard of it either. The real question is, is it in the golf conversation, greatest of all foods? And now I say it depends who you're talking to. Um, I mean, usually when you're talking about gofs, you're talking about top maybe five total. And uh, would this be top five? Personally, no. That being said, I can definitely see how other people would disagree with me and say that this is the best food in the world. And I can see why some people would say it is. It's just simply mighty fine. And that's all I can say. I'm skating out of here for today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.